Hi, this is your girl Bombshell from All In One Beauty and Robert Salon. Um, it's been a while since the last time I did a video. It was like last year. Um, this is a new year now. I'm coming back with some new videos on hair and makeup. So, let's get started. The hairstyle I'm going to do today is pretty much um, it's going to be a style um, I'm going to make into a personal wig. Um, the hair that I will be using today is the doobie hair in red and it's the 12 inch um pretty much when you take it out the box this is what it looked like now i'm not really sure as far as uh, the quality of this hair because this is my first time using this hair so hopefully everything will be fine I will also be using some 27, 28 piece um, hair weave. Um, and this is pretty much some just some straps I had left over from the last previous style I had. So we'll be using that as well. Um, I will be using the 30 second lace front glue to make my invisible part at the top. Um, what I have done to my hair already is I shampoo and condition it, did a leave-in condition. Um, I also braided to the back, straight to the back. I went in with a wig cap to um, help hold my uh, braids down or up. And then I went in with a clear clear shower cap or a clear plastic cap to put on top of that so when I'm laying my tracks with the glue the glue do not touch my hair and then as well I went in with the um, dome cap um, to uh, to make my personal wig and now this is what the dome cap look like and you can buy this at, at any um, beauty supply store um, typically the things that you will be needing are, um, the black hair glue, your shears, scissors, um, your flat irons, blow dryer, your clippers, um, and a little, um, pump it up or a uh, holding spray. And I put this on just to spray the tracks, hold, um, to spray on so when I get rid of glue the tracks down, it will dry quicker. Um. One particular thing that I do before I get started on my um, personal wigs is the fact that I like to section off where I want to start and stop um, or, or, or placing the, the tracks. Now, as you, as you can see, I have drew a line. I use a white eyeliner to draw this line at the top of my, at the crown of my head. Um, and then I will, and this is pretty much where the, um, the invisible part would be. Because I want to make it look natural. Um, I also have section off in the back where I want the 27, 28 piece weave to lay. And then in the front, I want a um, longer piece of the doobie hair right there. And pretty much right here in the, the top crown of my head, I want um, to kind of blend the, the doobie hair, the 12 inch doobie hair with the um the 28 piece hair in the back so it pretty much gonna be a little bit shorter i almost give you an effect of a bob style but not necessarily a bob um because i want more like a round face um cut in the front um so what you pretty much would do is go in and lay your tracks um down glue your tracks down until your uh, stopping point right here which is right above the earlobe and then you will go in with a um, your 12 inch hair and lay these track as well down. So let's get started. And I'm going to use the smaller pieces first. Oh, what should I say? Use the longer piece first. Because I do want a little bit length in the back to cover up... Um, my neckline 
So I will go with the longer piece first and then I will proceed with the um, shorter piece on top of that. And I will blend, use my clippers to shade that down and blend it out. Uh, once I do that, um, I will come back and show you the results.